You're with the 31st Regiment Tank Company now. That's our CO briefing us for a mission on Hill 1062. We know all about it. A fortress 3,500 feet high, 20,000 Chinese on it. He says we get artillery and air support. We'll need it. Reminds me, I got a letter the other day. Says, guess you can't use tanks in those mountains. What do you do all day? Polish the brass? Yeah, that's right. Nothing to do but polish the brass. Sit around, shine up our tanks real pretty. Polish our shoes. Those Chinese commies don't bother us much. We're too far away from them. We just put on bulletproof vests to keep out the cold. Well, here we go. Not a bad day for some things. Back home, I'd probably go fishing. Drive out, take a lunch, relax. I'll do that again someday, I hope. Well, there's one good thing about being in the lead tank, no dust. There's another outfit coming up with us. The more, the merrier. That's 1062 up ahead. A big beehive with a lot of stingers. While our tanks move into position, they get protective fire from 7th Division artillery and a hot reception from the enemy. At each hour, Operation Blaster begins. a good morning's work, an hour and a half of shelling, and then in order to pull back, come out through a smoke screen laid down by chemical engineers, and that smoke will cover two tanks ahead that ran into enemy mines. The other tanks are undamaged. For their crews, the show is over. Yeah, but we just softened up that hill. They're still on it. If we ever get them off, it'll take the infantry to go in and dig them out. <laughs> 